Next tonight, a major search is taking place in the borders for a 78-year-old man from Galashiels. Yes, David McLeod has dementia and hasn't returned home since yesterday evening. Police helicopters joined a search this afternoon. Well, Alex Isaac joins us now from our Selkirk newsroom. Uh, Alex, deeply concerning, clearly. Uh, what's the latest? Absolutely concerning. Now, the police have issued CCTV tonight of the last times that David McLeod was seen last night. And that was by um, the ship inn in Melrose at around 9.15 p.m. Now, as you can see from the CCTV images, that he has a very distinctive gait, a distinctive walk. So what we do know is his, he is a 78-year-old man with grey hair, 5 foot 6, he's a slim build. He was wearing a blue jacket and black jeans and a Scotland beanie cap and walking boots. Now, that was one of the last times that he was on CCTV, but we do know he left his house on Woodstock Avenue in Galashiels at around 8 o'clock. He told friends and family that he was heading to the SO garage to go and collect a paper, which is what he usually did, but he never turned up. Now, police are very concerned about him, especially because it's getting colder overnight, as Chief Inspector Fisher told me earlier. We're really concerned about Dave. His family want to see him home uh, safe and warm. It's getting cold again. We're, we're looking at sub-zero temperatures again tonight. We want to see him home and we're looking for the public's help to, to achieve that. If, if, you, if you think you've found him, dial 999 immediately and let us know. If you think you may have seen him, use the 101 system. But if you have ring doorbell footage, dash cam footage, CCTV, roundabout Woodstock Avenue or anywhere between there, the railway station, Melrose, and you think you may have captured them, please let us know as well. Now, he was last seen at 9.25, just by the Melrose bypass, and has not been seen since. So that if you do see him, please do realise that he may be confused because of the dementia, but call the police on any of those numbers that Chief Inspector Fisher just mentioned there. Any and all information, welcome, I'm sure. Many thanks, Alex.